have made a top signing and we beat Manchester United. Hi guys, Woody here and welcome back. This is episode 3 of Sunderland Till I Cry. Um, we've come back to the 30th of January. Um, we are sitting pretty second in the table. Uh, we're still seven points behind Hull. They look pretty uncatchable, I think, at this point. Um, we are a point ahead of Portsmouth, though, which is good. Nicholas Bentner has scored 17 goals. He is killing it. Um, so a few... What's his league? 13 in the league, so that's needs to be sniffed at. Sniffed at. Three assists and five player of the matches. He is killing it. And actually, on a downside, not that this overly matters, but he's leaving us at the end of the season. He's going to Antwerp, so... Oh well, bummer. Um, let's have a look since I left you last time, and uh, I may have uh, slightly over embellished beating Manchester United. It was their uh, under 23s in the Papa John's, um, but yeah, we'll, we'll take that. Anyway, we left you after we beat Blackpool 3 1. I've played a massive chunk of games since then, absolutely massive. We beat Burton, oh, we drew, we drew with Burton 1 all. Beat Wigan 1-0, Charlie White saving our blushes in the 90th there. Drew with MK Dons, 1-0. Another 2 all draw with Lincoln. Nicholas Bentnell there. AC Wimbledon, we beat them. Beat Wolves under 23s in the Papa Johns. Drew with Shrewsbury. Beat Swindon in the FA Cup second round on penalties, thank God. Um, lost to Hull then. Like I said, they're doing really, really good. We couldn't even get out the ball. That was a terrible game. Um, beat Accrington 2-0. Thumped Northampton, Northampton 5-1. We had five different goal scorers in this game. McGeady, Bentner, Gooch, Maguire, and Glatzel. Um, beat Portsmouth 2-0 as well. Um, and then we we lost to Norwich in the um, FA Cup third round. But, that being said, I have to show you Lyndon Gooch's goal. I have to show you his goal. Um, let's watch this, because his goal is oh, amazing. Just, I mean, the scoring kind of flattered, flattered, uh, flattered them a bit, flattered us a bit, I think. Um, yeah, that was it. We don't, we, we don't want to see this. We'll just skip, 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 skip. Come on, where is it? Coming up here. Where is it? I should just be coming up in the next little highlight. Come on. This is cracking off. Absolutely cracking. Charlie White pings it off. He goes an island. He look how far out he is. He goes, no, I'll just clear this. And Lyndon Gooch just goes, nah, thank you. Boom. <laughs> Great stuff. Loved it. Loved it. Um then obviously we beat Manchester United 2-0 in the Papa John's uh, North. They haven't done the draw for that next round, so that's really weird. So don't Oh, still waiting on Barrow and Leeds. Um, who is left in that, actually? There's Hull, obviously, ugh, and Leicester under 23. So that sucks. A few other teams, I think, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, um, then we beat AFC Wimbledon 1-0. Paul Glatzel, he scored three times in three games, which is excellent. Shrewsbury 2-1. Glatzel and Bentner there. And then we beat Ipswich with Charlie White grabbing a injury time winner, which was excellent. So today we've come back and we play Gilliam. They are bottom of the table. And MK Dons, who are fourth. Um, so, should be really, really good there. Score. I didn't want that. Squad wise, let's have a look how they've been playing selection info wise. Lee Burge, still looking really good. Apart from him and Nicholas Bentner, are the only two who are over sevens. Obviously, and Remy Matthews, the backup block lead keeper, who's played a few. Paul Glatzel has eight goals now, which is good. McGeevy's got five, but a lot of rotations, and some of you may have noticed that key signing that I got in. I managed to bring Billy Gilmore in on loan. Now, he's four-star current ability, five-star potential. We all know how good he is in real life. He's only 18, uh, so he's, uh, he hasn't played super well in his uh, five games for us, only averaging 6.54, but I was really, really pumped when I got him. We also managed to get in uh, this man here as well, Charlie Cresswell from Leeds, uh, three-and-a-half-star current Ability central defender. Now, I do have a lot of central defenders. Obviously, we've got Bailey White, Jordan Willis, um, Tom Flanagan, um, and we've got um, this dude here. I'm not going to pronounce his name, but they're getting really, really tired. 
um, and I have to keep sending them on week holidays. Um, so we are getting caught a bit short. So I thought let's try and bring in someone on loan and see what we can do there. Anyway, let's get cracking with this Gillingham game. Um, so Lee Bird is going to be in goal. We are actually probably going to give Sanderson a rest. Um, yeah, we're going to play... Because I think uh, and no, 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 let's go a week with that MK Dong games and we're gonna win. Um and we, <clears throat> excuse me, the only other change we're gonna make is we're gonna take Max Power out for Charlie Winchester because he is looking a little bit tired. Uh, we've got Lyndon Gooch who can go in there as well. Uh other than that, it's gonna be our strongest team today, I think. Am I gonna take Put him up. I'm going to take the insane something out. No, I'm not. I'm going to leave him back in there actually. And uh, Martina back to the bench. Right, yeah, we're going to do that. All right, let's go. Let's get out there. Let's play. Let's beat Gillingham. Like I said, bottom of the table, this should be a relatively comfy, comfortable win. <clears throat> Hopefully. Um, <clears throat> yeah, sure. Point your finger. Media being a, giving us a lot of credit. I seem pretty motivated about that, which is good. I'm going to stay in the light here, but you know, let's get on with this. The whole are looking like they are uncatchable at this point. <clears throat> Such a good team. Uh, we've just got to try and keep uh, the likes of Portsmouth and NK Dons away from us. Good win over Shrewsbury the other um, previous uh, game. So if like, nothing's happened in 10 minutes, great stuff, guys. But we've got a highlight here, drilling them with the ball now. Dempsey probing forward. Winchester takes the ball off him and gets goes to Glatzel. And Glatzel pushes ahead using his pace. He goes in the middle. Winchester. I wish that went to Begner instead. Let me scuff that over. Filling him now with a goal kick. Goes out. Maguire heads it. Glatzel with it now. Back to Billy Gilmore. Back to Glatzel and Gilmore. Winchester. And Gilmore uses McGeady out there. They get the Vokings with the overlap. He pumps in and that's a penalty. It's a foul by Graham on Vokins. Graham could be in trouble here. Is he going to send him off? No, surely not. It's going to be Nicholas Bentner with a penalty. Boom, back in the net. The big man with his 18th goal of the season. That's what I'm talking about. So yeah, back in the net. Good stuff. He didn't give... Uh, it was Jordan Graham, I thought. Yeah, he didn't give him uh, a, a card or anything. Good stuff, good start. Gillingham here now with an attacking throw in Johnson. It's Lee, he pops it in, but Bokins is there to head it out, and Bentner picks the loose ball up. McGeady back to Winchester. Winchester probing forward now. He passes it all the way back to Bokins, and Bokins pushes forward down the touchline. He's been fouled again. But Nicholas Bentner is playing advantage here by looks for Maguire, Winchester. Oh, it's in Carl Winchester. He's been probing for a goal all game, and he has finally got it. Two goals in five minutes, and it is 2 0 to the Jill. Uh, to the Jills. No, no, to Sunderland, to the Blackouts after 17 minutes. Excellent. This is good. Julian are in big trouble. They're probably going down. Looking good. Looking good. I hope you guys are enjoying this episode. Um, if you are, by all means, please, please leave a like. That's much appreciated. Uh, if you're not subscribed yet, if you could. That would also be great while we've got this little lull. Might just push that little one out there. All right, we've got another free kick here. It's Maguire over the top. Couldn't quite get it. But Maguire's managed to scoop it back up. It's now Willis. Is it Willis? Willis? Willis. Willis Bentner. Oh, <laughs> Nicholas Bentner gets his second of the game. And he's 19th of the season. The big man is working his magic. So look at this. Willis. Willis outside the box pops in a juicy cross and Bentner is just unmarked and that just goes straight in the back of the net. How I hold him in. I'll look shot hard over him. Uh, Portsmouth playing today. <clears throat> they are still nil all with Charlton. Everyone's looking pretty good. A little Billy Gilmore to kick on. He um as I showed you before, he's only on a six point five four, so it's hard to get him sort of embedded into the team. Uh, a bit more, which is a shame, but still, still really happy when uh, he wanted to come join online. It's a decent ball. I was going to say it was a decent ball, but he missed it entirely. 
But we are back on the ball and back on the attack now. And, and there's that man, Billy Gilmore. Boy, that's Maguire. Maguire. How did he manage to miss that? He could have scored that. Come to half time, and we are absolutely dominating this game. Oh, we've got a free kick and straight to Lee Birds. He hoops it back out, and we're going to go on the counter attacking here with Mr. Spent now. Oh, no, he loses it, but Billy Gilmore said, pick it up and that's all, that's all. That's all back to Maguire, Maguire. Oh, oh, oh Chris Maguire. The assist from Paul Gatzel, what was that? Wow. Now have a look at this here. Paul Glatzel, great play here. Just chips it back to me and chip it. Maguire stomps this. That's a great goal. And this is definitely the kind of game I want to come back for. That's excellent. I think I'm going to outstretch the hand. I'm very happy with that, lads. Keep it up. And 4 0 at half time. And I wouldn't do that if we were only like 1 or 2 0, like the gods know. We usually bottle it after that. But I mean, we're probably going to concede up and then Jillian Mark quite bad, though. So, um, so hopefully that doesn't happen. These guys still not playing that great. Come on, Gilmore. Playing a lot better than that. Hope you guys like the background. This is the. Uh, it's actually in the kids' playroom, so they just stick with the drawing room on the wall. So um, they also write prices on it, so feel free like buying any of that artwork. Some of them have crazy prices. I think there's one up there. It's got about 20 zeros after it, so um, they've absolutely no idea the concept of money, but anyway. Still in here in a court with a corner. Oh, oh Samson cleans off the line. And can we turn this into a attack? No, come on, that's gotta be. Um, look to make a couple of substitutions in a few minutes, I think. He's been a bit of a hat trick. He hasn't, has he? No, I think he's just got the two. I think he's just got the two, so... Um, yes, he does, because the other ones are Winchester, Winchester and Maguire, obviously. I won't take that now. Probably going to take him a look down here at the bottom, I reckon Billy Gilmore. Let's see, there you go. I knew we'd concede. I told the guys we were playing really well and I was really happy with their performance. Classic. It's really hard with what to do when you're up 4 0 at half time. Like, I think if you go, like, sometimes and you go and say to them, Oh, hey guys, uh, you're playing really well, but I think you'll do better. I don't know if that works that well. Um, I'm going to leave Billy Gilmore on. I really, really want him to. Try and improve, but we're going to take Bailey right off. He's not playing that well, and um, Jordan Jones is going to do this. So three substitutions. <clears throat> we'll keep an eye on uh, everyone else. Anyone drops into the red, we'll get them off ASAP. This has been a great victory, though. Portsmouth still drawing. I know they've just gone one goal up, and. Uh, I'll obviously winning as well. And there's that man, Billy Gilmore, that wants to uh, come off. Um, so I don't have anyone to substitute for you, mate. But, um, yeah, sure. Martina, there. You know, it was an end of field, but whatever. I'm just taking both things off as well, I can do. Game's on the stable. Chill out, both things. Never rest. That's a good victory. Pretty boring second half, but we did all the first work. Uh, we did all the first work. We did all the hard work in the first half there, and uh, and that's a cracking victory. I bet everyone's happy. Nothing goes in big boom. We were brilliant out there. This result, but I don't want to get too carried away. We've got to back it up next match as well. Next match as well, obviously, near Southgate. I want to shout Gareth Southgate's. Don't do. Off some description. You're never going to control a game of football if you don't ever have the ball. What were we doing out there? We scored four goals. Winning the game. That's what we were doing out there. Alright. That can't smash Gillingham. How's this now? Seven games. Uh, one in a row. Uh, yeah. well, we've also... Um, also... <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm hoping to bring in this guy just before the uh, the window closes. Here he is. Sergei Zinchenko. 
Kazakhstani, 52 caps, target man. Uh, Kals play weirdly with him, better winger, but I want him up front as a target man just in case Bentley gets a little bit tired. Um, there's a few other clubs interested in him. American ones are probably not going to get him, and I don't really think he's going to get a work permit. But anyway, on to MK Dons. I thought we'd come back for the Papa John's uh, quarterfinal and semi-final draw. Let's have a look at the teams there. I'd like to. I'd like Northampton to be honest. Or else. Mm, I'll take Charlton, Plymouth. Um, yeah, they are the teams we want to draw. So let's have a look. Here we got Hull. No. Okay, Plymouth are out. Leeds. Mm, this goes Charlton. Northampton. I would love Northampton. Oh yeah, we get Northampton in the quarterfinals. That is definitely winnable. We absolutely pump them 5 1. Um, good, good. Are we doing the semi final now? I believe they do the draw now. Yeah, come on. Semi final draw today. Get the show on the road. There we are. Semi final draw. Right. Um, let's just see what we get. Oh. All right, Ipswich or Leicester. Hmm, interesting. All right, we still got to get past MK Dons. Oh, wow. The quarterfinal. Well, well we're playing the quarterfinal. Like, that's obviously me not having a look at schedules and that, so I guess we'll we'll get that game in then instead. All right, guys, we've got Northampton. Obviously, I didn't know this game was happening because, I don't know, I don't think check schedules or anything. Um, we're going to go Burgeon Goal. Sanderson Flanagan is coming in. Bailey Wright is a little bit injured. Uh, Willis, Vokens, Maguire, Gilmore, Max Power is back, McGeady on the left, Bender is a target man, with Paul Glatzel up the top. Um, yeah, looks pretty good. I, I like our chances in this. We've gotten to the quarterfinal, so, and we've got Northampton, so I think, you know, we've got a good chance, a good chance to, to, to get a bit of silverware in the Papa Johns, although there's some strong teams left. Hull, for example. Um, it's a great opportunity. Yep. Everyone's pumped about that. Uh, you come into this in good form while you're playing stuff. Okay, look, it's uh, just a challenge. You know, I'm going to think of our goal. It's not going to be anything expected. Yeah, we're going to get some stage. I don't know. I'm going to take one game at a time and see what happens. Oh, it's on TV. Northampton. All right, let's skip that. Blah, blah, blah. Yep, skip, skip, skip. Let's get the game underway. Come on, boys. Let's go. Um, that's it, I'm going for the leads, that's right, yeah. That's right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I vagued out then, I had a thought, and then I thought, no, I'm not going to say that because it doesn't make any sense. So, three minutes in, not much happening. We're going to throw out an encourage from the sidelines and see if that can, you know, get us moving. We have apparently had a shot on target. Didn't see that as a highlight, obviously, it wasn't great. The point one eight XG, but, um, Northampton now with uh, <clears throat> with an attack outside the box. But Lee Gilmore steals the ball and Paul Glatzel pushes ahead with it. If this Bentner could get up there a bit better, that'd be great. But it's Glatzel, the ball pins around McGee. Power. Oh, max power. That's what you want. And Sunderland are 1 0 up after 15 minutes. Great stuff, boys. So you can get a tune with Billy Gilmore today. That'll be. That'll be good. I'll give him as much game time as possible so that he uh, really starts to get used to the system that you're playing in. So, um, it was handy because Chelsea also wanted me to play him as a deep line playmaker. So, like, fine. Great, right, I'm playing one of them anyway. And uh, move max power to that uh, box to box. Um, he's actually better in it. So, yeah, looking good. It's, Gonna run this right out to the half with no highlights, alright. Um there's a no sure so pressing sounds pretty good uh, advice I reckon. Uh who do we draw again? It was Lester under twenty threes and my mind's gone blank. You guys probably remember, I don't. Lester under twenty threes and Ip switch or Ip switch. So keep an eye on that one. That one could be uh could be Handsome himself. He'd be, he'd be Villa under 23s, he'd be Wolves under 23s, uh, and Man United under 23s. So I think we'll see our chances there as we go here as well and get him. There's Nicholas Pinto with his 20th goal of the season on the stroke of half time. Another head from the big man. Oh, 
right stuff, right stuff. And we got all over Northampton again, and I'm putting the finger, it's only played well, it's still room for improvement. Let's get right back out there for the second half. Hopefully you get some, uh, get some decent highlights, eh? And I skipped forward a bit because, well, I did not skip forward again a bit, but uh, cut out because <laughs> nothing happened and it was just, just whittling time away. Alright, still nothing happening, but we'll make a couple of substitutions, eh? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. I've lost it. Alright. My laptop actually goes in front of the screen because the desk is really cramped. So I've seen it really yeah, like this, that's what I'm doing. Um, I'm do I'm still not playing well. Ugh. Uh, and then Charlie Wack on for Nicholas Bentner. Give him a rest, he does get tired. Um, Lyndon Gooch can come on for Maguire. And Jordan Jones. It's not quite a thing. You go out there and make a difference. Maybe a highlight would be good. Can we get another highlight, boys? Hey, hi. Not with your Pampton scoring, I don't want that I like. Both things there with a big kick out to nobody, really. Just booting it long. Route 1. Not really Route 1, but... Lyndon Gooch now with the ball. Back to Sanderson, back to Gilmore. Chips it forward to power. Max power now. He's got Gooch out on the right. Back to Billy Gilmore. Back to power. Got Charlie White there now. White power. Chips it over the top. Here comes Jones. Jones with the cross in. Oh. Goes out to Gilmore now, Max Power and Gilmore. Max Power, hey, has a pop. Oh, it's in the post. It's in the post. Oh, well, that was exciting. That's the most, most exciting thing that's happened this half. Oh, we've got another one. Sanderson with the throw in. Northampton headed out. Sanderson back to Willis. Willis, it looked for a minute there that he didn't know where the ball was, but anyway. Give a Gilmore has a bit of a wild lash. And Northampton only cover the ball. You know, they boot it long and look to spring and attack here to get back into this game. But hopefully my boys are equal to the task. Oh, when this head's clear, or oh, did he head clear? I think the ball just got pinged into him. Lyndon Gooch now a good run here. He gets in and there is Glatson with his knight, and that is the game beyond doubt, I reckon. Good counter attack there, boys. Well done. That is game, set, and match. The mechanical substitution we can't. Sanderson with the corner is going to hoop that in. Charlie White over the, head, over the bar. Played Northampton twice so far. Uh, we'll play them again, obviously. They, uh, they do that in the league. They um, play each team twice if you're unaware of how it works. This is uh, turning out to be a bit of a longer episode, but, you know, it's always good to get the two games in. We have that little, you know, blur, but in the middle of Papa Jones draw, so, um, you know, that's all good. That's all good. Northampton here. It's Flanagan Gilmore. Max Power now. Lyndon Gooch, Gooch, Gooch to Jones, Jones, oh. The team's really popping at the moment, really, really clicking. A little bit dusty at the beginning of the season, you know, with some of the, the results, but we, we, we haven't been losing too many. Oh, Lyndon Gooch there. Couldn't sneak it past the goalkeeper. Now the boys have max power of the corner, but now the boys have got the tactic, and they know the tactic is just clicking nicely. There's not, not too many changes to the uh, to the team. Find that helps as well. But Northampton have not had a shot on target. We've had ten, ten shots on target. Their goalkeeper has had a great game. He's max power. Oh, Mitchell. He has played really, really well. Mitchell and goal there. Jonathan Mitchell. It's only on a seven up. Oh, come on, let me give him a bit more. He's had eleven shots at him, although the XG is only just a, a tick under two, and that is full time and that is a top quality win. I'm even gonna outstretch the arms. Well done, boys. They're all happy and motivated. These people have got to be happy. 
Okay, yeah, but like, I mean, it's still a great win. Mate, okay, chill out. Chill, chill out. Come on. Alright. We don't... I wonder when he was. Okay, Simpson, he was excellent. Passing was a joy to behold. Alright, let's have a look at the schedule. Where are we going to come back? Um... Oh, we've got the Papa John semi-final. Are we going to come back for the Papa John semi-final? Is that a thing? It's only one leg. We should probably come back for the Papa John's semi-final. Definitely, definitely. Hope you guys enjoyed that episode. Uh, like I said, uh, in the middle there, if you can leave a like, that'd be great. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, please do that. Uh, I've got more FM content hopefully coming up in the future. And uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.